Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back guys and girls. So let's take a look again on the gold market. In general we have just minor changes uh, in the recent couple of sessions. Um, it tells us a couple of things. First of all, that uh, it seems that recent information that we got is in retail sales and inflation as it uh, well can't make Fed to adjust the policy. It's not sufficient enough to make any adjustments it's because mostly it stands in a row with the Fed strategy and their view on the economy. It also tells us as gold haven't shown big reaction on uh, stronger inflation and at the same time it hasn't shown really big reaction on retail sales. Although we see some minor downside pullback, it just tells that this uh, change of the Fed policy, I mean the three or even four rate changes already mostly priced in in the current level. By our, by our suggestions that another driving factor that could make impact on the gold that could change the balance here is the decision on the quantitative tightening. But as Jerome Powell tells, Fed will take at least few few uh, meetings to make the decision on how it should happen and what pace it should come. So it means that, well, gold has a rather solid time period where it could breathe freely and it seems that until summer, hardly we will get any clarity on the quantitative tightening program from the Fed, which looks more or less positive. So long term uh, factors and our view in the long term perspective, you could read a vehicle report as usual. Returning back to the technical analysis, what we could say. So although gold keeps valid bullish scenario, because actually in last week we've got another bullish grubber on the weekly chart, which it will be fifth or sixth in a row. Uh, so you can calculate by yourself. So, but at least definitely three, four grubbers we have that suggest upward continuation and moving back to the top on 1877. At the same time, reaction on retail sales makes us think that before and if our production still happens later, we should be ready for a deep retracement in the beginning of the week. Because overall performance here uh, looks a bit bearish. So first of all, take a look, market created the new top, which could be treated as kind of the washroom rinse here, and then close negatively. Although it hasn't taken off these lows, which could give us the bearish reversal candle, but still overall performance and inability to break 1830 resistance with a few weeks in a row and the second week in a row makes us think that before upper continuation, deep retracement here has big chance to happen. That's the reason why we do not actually hurry up with the taking the new long position immediately. With these th thoughts in mind, um, take a look at the fault time from chart. It seems that we return back, need to return back to the idea of the reverse head and shoulders. Because here a really big chance that market could reach at least 1810, but with the currently high degree that this could happen, 18 even area. Besides 18 even, if we'll take a look at the daily chart, that will be approximately the support of this trend line. So currently with this performance on Friday, chances that market could show the retracement to the 18 even increases, especially with this shape of the reverse hand and shoulders on the back. Well, by looking at the 30 minute chart, we could have two patterns that could set the direction. First is minor ABCD on the slope, this downward action. That tells that market already hits the OP. And XOP stands around and has passed already through the OP. And XOP agrees with the confidence support 1810 and 1011, 12. That that the reason why we suggest that this is first destination point that market should reach, probably will reach. Uh, with this more 
negative scenario, that might become the double top pattern, which is typical for a double top, is the appearing of the Russian greens of the second top that we've got right on Friday. So the target of the double bottom, as usually happens, is uh, actually the height of the pattern itself. And if you count it to the downside, you will get approximately 18 even area. So that's the reason why we think about reaching of the 18 as well. So because actually chances right now, as I said, a bit higher than it was on, next, on last week. Besides, if you'll take a look at the real interest rates and the nominal interest rates, you'll see that both of them have made the tick up in the previous week, which also, well, makes pressure on the gold, works like the headwind for gold market and um, makes chance on a bit deep retracement more probable. So that's our current view. Uh, and the final guy is right here. So here we also have the divergence. It's also very typical for double, pattern, double top pattern. So uh, although the head and shoulders that we initially thought might happen here was canceled, but instead of that, based on the poor retail sales release, we could get the double top. So that's our view on the short term gold. This is the reasons why we are not really uh, hurry with the taking the position and we think that it makes sense to keep an eye on and uh, wait for a bit deeper retracement in the gold market.